I'm Mark Benz, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with a big blue bee on three. Ready? One, two, three. Minutes after filming the sting of the largest bee I've ever gone up against, I noticed something even more striking buzzing around the brush. There's a bee. There's a bee. Got him. Got him. Yes. It's a blue one. You gotta see this. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. It's blue. Holy cow. I think it's now turn from a sting test to a sting comparison. Just a few minutes ago, I was stung by a big black carpenter bee, which walloped me. But I didn't know they came in blue. What's your bet, black or blue? In this video, we're going to find out which of these giant bees has the more painful sting and which of them will rate higher on the Brave Wilderness Bite Sting Index. And we're back. We have one black carpenter bee and one blue carpenter bee, the new contender. I was stung by this black carpenter bee, a broad-handed bee is another name for it. Right there, yesterday, this bee is ticked and it is going to sting the heck out of me. One, two, three. Oh, wow, yeah, wow. Oh, you, oh, ah. I want to get away. Ah. All right. Let's get this bee. See the venom coming out of that hole? Oh. Yeah. Big bee got me. Big bee got me. And you can see in 24 hours, the swelling has expanded to cover nearly my entire forearm. You see all that inflammation right there. Check this out. It even jiggles. Cool. But of course, as we were wrapping up yesterday, packing up all the gear, starting to film the aftermath scenes for the BSI rating of the broad-handed black carpenter bee, this new contender entered the picture. We have unlocked a new character, a blue carpenter bee. I have never seen a bee with a blue coat before. And it's not kind of blue, guys. Let's get a tight shot of this. It is really blue. We're talking sky blue coat all over the back of the bee, around the face, on the front legs, and it even has a blue iridescent shine to the wings. So, seeing that this bee is ultra colorful and aposomatic, blue is a warning color, I'm thinking to myself, gosh, that black carpenter bee really packed a punch. But maybe, just maybe, the blue carpenter bee is even worse. In my mind, the bigger the bee, the bigger the sting. However, we know from all the sting tests we've done, size isn't the only factor. The potency of the venom means a lot. For example, let's take a quick look back at this small but ultra painful cow killer. On three, one, two, three. Oh, wow, oh! Wow! Yeah! Holy moly. Yeah, that's one of the better ones I've taken. It is, um, oh, I can already tell you right now, the swelling from this tomorrow is going to be so much worse than it is right now. And the pain, the power of the venom in this bee is fresh in my mind. So does the black carpenter bee, being a bigger bee, have a more powerful sting or Will the real BSI champ be this beautiful blue carpenter bee? There's only one way to find out, and we came a long way to get here in Borneo. So if there's ever a time for a sting off between the black and the blue carpenter bee, this is it. And with that, I think it's time to enter the sting zone once more. What do you guys say? It's time, Mark. Okay, let's put get the black carpenter bee aside for now and really focus in on today's new entrant to the Brave Wilderness Bite Sting Index. Now I will be grading this sting, as always, on three factors, intimidation, pain, aftermath. Intimidation, it's a lot smaller than the broad-handed bee from yesterday, but the pain, 
that's what I'm interested in. That coloration could be a warning sign, could be a signal that this bee's venom is way worse than the broad-handed bee. But they're called carpenter bees because of how they reproduce. When a female bee wants to lay an egg, she will bore into wood. They'll leave one egg behind with a ball of pollen. They are pollinators. And then that larva will hatch from the egg, eat the pollen, emerge as a bee, and the cycle continues again. But for me, the takeaway is that these bees have jaws strong enough to saw through wood. And if it bites me, I'm in for a world of hurt. The aftermath, of course, we won't know for at least a day because we've seen what this can do in a day. And uh, I am running out of canvas. Gonna address that real quick. Uh, typically, for a comparison, I like to do the opposite arm or maybe another spot on the arm. This forearm is completely cooked. This forearm, I just got stung by a really strange insect earlier today, and it's wreaking havoc on me already. I've already got a big goose egg here. So I don't wanna mess with that experiment. So I think the only blank canvas that I have to offer for the blue carpenter bee is a little further up my sleeve. So I'm gonna take a sting right here. Mark, that looks like Popeye. Yeah, I know, right? I'm gonna need a vacation after this trip, guys. I am getting nailed. All right. Okay. This is not gonna be good. All right, here we go. I'm gonna really try not to lose this bee. This is the only blue carpenter bee we've seen all week long. This is a rare one. All right. I'm gonna keep the net on standby. You guys ready? I'm ready, Mike. Here we go. Oh, I woke up. Okay. Got it. Just so you guys know, I'm not hurting the bee at all by doing this. It is super tough. Oh, man. See that stinger fishing already? Okay. We're gonna have to do this quick. This bee is super slippery. That blue coat is so slippy. Okay, we got it. All right, here we go. I'm Mark Vins, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with a big blue bee on three. Ready? One. Two, three. Ah, bite me. Ah, yeah. Oh, it caught me. Oh. Ah. Ah, hang on. Ah, it's bite me. He's in there. He's on. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah. Oh. Ooh. Oh, man. All right, someone get the net. Someone get the net. Ah, uh, cover him. Ah. Uh, oh, yeah, that stings. Get him back in the container. Ah, uh, come on, come on. Uh, oh, it stings. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, oh, yeah. She's a biter. She's a biter. And she stings. That didn't happen yesterday. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Took two really good stings, multiple bites. Oh, I got a headache. You okay, Mark? Ah, dude. Ah. Oh, that was so much worse on this bite and the sting than yesterday. Like worse than the black bee? I mean, it, she bit the heck out of me. She bit me so hard, I'm bleeding. Ah, oh, those bees can chew through wood. She had no problem popping through my skin. Look at that, guys. I'm surprised I'm not bleeding more for how bad that hurt. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. Ah, you get the shot? Here you go. Okay. I don't want to do that again. I think I'm done with carpenter bees. Ah. My arm is like, what the heck? What is going on? What are you thinking? 
Oh man, the venom's starting to set in too. Let's see. Stings are down below. All right, let's roll into it. Where does the big blue bee rank next to the black carpenter bee here in Borneo? Let's roll the ratings. Here we go. On intimidation, the blue bee was a bit less intimidating than its larger cousin, the black broad-handed bee. Seeing them side by side and their stingers both on the table beforehand, certainly the black bee was a lot more formidable. However, the blue bee still gets a respectable score of a 7.2 out of 10 because that vivid blue color all over its body, which in nature can be used as a warning sign of high venom potency. For pain, the blue bee delivered with a huge dose of it right to my arm. It bit and stung me multiple times and would refuse to let go even when I tried to pull it off. The pain caused by its venom wasn't as distinct as the black bee, but the bite certainly made up for it. For that, I give it a 7.8 out of 10. And for the aftermath, the blue bee left behind a cluster of bite and sting sites on my arm. The bites all healed like an ordinary wound, but the venom made things much more uncomfortable. As it healed, it was joined by an unusually intense itch, which made the bite wounds hard to leave alone. However, the swelling and redness left behind was much less than that of the black bee, so the blue bee only earns an 8.1 out of 10. Altogether, this big blue bee ranks as a 7.7 out of 10 on the Brave Wilderness BSI, falling short of the black bee overall and sliding in just below the bite of the assassin bug. If you enjoyed that episode, make sure to search for the Brave Wilderness channel on YouTube so you can join me and the crew on our upcoming adventures.